it's the worst six months period um, is worse in the midterm year. You've got President Trump behaving very midterm esque by pushing through a lot of things that are, you know, less savory, roiling the markets with uh, international policy initiatives and domestic um, issues that have come up. So it's very midterm esque, trying to get things through before you might lose control in House and Congress. So um, it looks like it's setting up for a little bit of a soft patch. I think we can, you know, breach that February low. We failed at the March highs recently and have turned lower. So there's a little technical breakdown, especially, you know, we had a nice extra run in NASDAQ. We did get another seasonal sell signal uh, in June for, you know, the best eight months of, of uh, yeah. NASDAQ and uh, Russell. So we got out of our tech positions and our small caps. But I caps. think, Jeff, people are confused. They're all they do every day, they, they re this, is a, this, yeah. is, this is what's called a newspaper. You know, people pick this thing up. It's like an ancient device. That's why the last couple and of years doesn't necessarily matter, per trade, se. Trade, trade, Trump, Trump, trade, Trump, trade. Trade Trump, and they're scared. They don't know what to do. I, that's why we stick to the long-term strategies that have worked, like you know the seasonal switching strategies that we use. We've just put out a defensive basket of stocks with you know sectors that perform best in the worst six months: utilities, healthcare, staples, information. But is that a fear trade? If you're rec whenever somebody it's recommends it's a, it's, utilities, it's a defense trade for a bear. It's like betting on the pass line in craps. So I mean, Look, basically, but, you're not making a bet. You're just basically betting you're not going to fail. Best odds in the house is the pass line. Yeah, but it also gives you the least upside. Yeah, but over time, Boring. you get it's more. Safe. It's, it's, but, is it, but the point is, Jeff, is that the kind of market we're in? I think so. That right now, you need to be a little boring. You need to be a little safe. I think over the don't next. Get gr don't get greedy. We'll, we'll probably get a little upside in July because new money comes in, in the second half. And the first trading day of July is the best trading day of the year. It's been up the most, about 81% of the time. Wait, what's that? The first trading day of July. Which will be Monday. Monday, the second. Is the best trading day of the year? The highest probability. Why don't we start the segment with that? That's, that's interesting. That should have been my RBI. Well, I'm here to, to, I'm here to fill it in Yeah, but we're you. getting in the end of the segment. You're like, oh, by the way, Monday's going to be the best day of the year. <laughs> it's historically, historically has, the has first been. day of July is the best day of the year? Yeah. All the new Why? money coming in from, from the, the second half, the rebalancing, the new quarter. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.